Welcome to Trading Capital's exclusive analysis. Today's video is discussing natural gas and oil. The two commodities are shaping up and looking to push potentially higher. Starting with natural gas daily chart. The bulls right now have a little bit of celebration to do in the near term. This price action isn't out of the woodwork, but it just slanted and shifted the probabilities yet again in favor of a potential continuation move higher. What did we get today on the nat gas chart? Well, here you can see the daily candle. We got another daily closing high today, closing higher than yesterday's impulse breakout candle. What's important about this type of candle formation is you actually had a pretty big sell off right back to that 186.22 level that I've been distressing. It absolutely needs to hold. Look at the big sell off, look like you're breaking through and then they just ripped it back up to the high side of this bullish consolidation to basically close the day positive. So that gas is looking more favorable by the day to keep trending and pushing higher. Again, the fact that we're above this volume gap at 186, I'm always going to stress this area. It's acted as resistance. It's now acting as support since we're above it. This was a huge, huge breakaway volume gap on an excessive amount of volume back in 2020. Not only is it a daily gap fill, it's also a weekly gap fill. Then you also take it one step further and you look at it on the monthly chart. It's also a monthly gap fill. So if Nat Gas can close the month above that 186, it's looking like we have a potential bottom in place for the Nat Gas commodity. And this could start a bit of a super cycle rally in Nat Gas. It certainly is the most oversold commodity in the basket and it's likely could play catch up. It could start to outperform other commodities as it's still consistently oversold compared to other aspects of the commodity market. Now, what we want to look at here, since we've gotten two daily confirmed closes above this 186 level, we now need to see Nat Gas close the week above this 186 level. If it can do that, that's looking bullish. And keep in mind, if Nat Gas closes in this vicinity or higher, it's going to be its highest weekly close really since you had this February breakdown candle. So it's quite a long time since Nat Gas is starting to shape up and potentially put in its highest weekly close. You also saw continuation strength in AR. AR was strong today despite the S&P, the Russell, and the Qs down. You're seeing this beautiful consolidation pattern occurring in EQT. This could be shaping up to be such a picture perfect inverse head and shoulders pattern on this natural gas chart. You look at LNG, very similar. I almost took a position in LNG today, Shenier Energy, because I have an upside target of around 171 on the charts based off of this inverse head and shoulders. You can clearly see we broke out on the daily, confirmed the breakout, back testing the neckline, heavy volume in this range, which tells us that there's some accumulation occurring in this range and looking like it wants to press higher. But looking back at this EQT chart, I mean, if we simply just remove all of these trend lines, I want to show you this really fascinating trend line. You have to go back to your, actually, we'll, we'll stick to the daily chart. But if you go back to your pivot all the way in March of 2020, your COVID low, and you drag your trend line all the way through this pivot zone here, this pivot, this pivot, this pivot, look at what EQT is now trading above and trying to consolidate bullishly above. So the fact that EQT never ever really confirmed the breakdown of this weekly trend on yet a lot of fake breakdowns and the fact that you're above it right now, this could be shaping up a monster, and I mean a monster bullish pattern. If this inverse head and shoulders on the weekly chart is to play out and you get a trigger of this neckline here, this could be an absolute monster trade as we head into the later half of this year. We're talking about a potential outsized rally of roughly putting EQT all the way up to 63.69, almost a double in price from where it currently is trading. So a monster, monster potential rally is unfolding in some of these resource stocks. Full disclosure, I did take a position today in that gas via some call options. I also started taking a, uh, some calls in potentially some other resource stocks as well. So I am starting to now accumulate and build in a position on the long side of that gas as long as we stay above this 186 level. So that is the level to beat. That's the level of support. Again, I still remain that we could start grinding and actually squeezing fairly quickly up to this 225 zone on that gas. So if you found this video very helpful, please like it down below. Check out my tradingcapital.ca 
membership details where I do run a swing trading and day trading service. If you're interested to see how I'm trading this commodity as well as a bunch of other equities, bonds, and crypto related stocks. Take care, everybody, and thank you for tuning in.